you want to be the best of the best. It's just you in that ring. Surround yourself with the best. Dig deep, put it out there physically. You gotta make that jump. The amateur fighting style to pros. Got me into boxing when I was like seven years old. He introduced me to the sport. Um, I, like growing up, I did it for fun. You know, just I was a kid, just having fun. Until I got to high school, uh, I went to like a national tournament. And then, you know, national tournaments, it's, it's tough. You know, you, you go against national, the na national uh, class people. You know, they're, they're good. And uh, I, I made it pretty far into the tournament. So uh, I noticed that like if I like stick to stick with it. And work hard in the gym, and you know, do it every day. Like like they would do it. I could really like make it somewhere in boxing. So ever since high school, like when, we became, when I became a freshman, I stuck with it for four years, just like straight. And I'm here now, five years into it, like straight. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm here now. Like realistically, uh, you know, I'm too I'm too small for basketball. I'm too small for football. Uh, boxing was pretty much like I love sports, so. Really, I didn't think I, I would have made it in school. Even though I graduated, I don't think, like college, I don't think I would have gone far, but boxing was my only option, I think. I think once I, I like, put, put my mind on it and like said, I'm, I'm gonna become a professional boxer, then that was it, I had no, no plan B, that was it. So the important thing about boxing here in our community is it gives a platform for kids that you know, perhaps wouldn't be around for um, daycare, things like that. I've had so many parents that have come talk to us about our law firm and said, you know, thank you so much for doing what you're doing, for helping our local gym, for helping these amateurs and, and these kids that are developing to be uh, pro fighters. I don't know what they would do if they didn't have the guidance that they get from their coaches and the camaraderie that they have amongst the other kids that are in the gym. A lot of these kids come from, you know, hard working class families. So any time that they can get an avenue to do something positive with their life is something that, that's, that's very rewarding for the coaches and, and their staff and everyone that helps them. Ba basically, in my neighborhood, there were, we, we was always kids just playing sports, no matter what. Everyone had an older brother and it always led to a fight, no matter what. And you know, we'd get into fights and then I'd end up getting beat up by the older brothers. My dad didn't like that. So he put me into boxing just to learn how to defend myself more. And then after that, I saw, I would see kids sparring and then I would see kids fighting. And I would tell my dad, like, oh, I want to do, I want, I want to spar. Once I got into sparring, you know, I got beat up. And I took that, that week off, came back, and it motivated to, to push me to, to work hard. And then once I start, started seeing kids actually fighting, it made me want to do it, and then within like a year, I fell in love with the sport. Uh, how can I describe it? Family oriented, all the kids and coaches included are hardworking. It is family friendly. It's a very violent sport, it could be. It can be an ugly sport, uh, but everybody respects each other at the end of the day, especially within the city. It's one of those things that uh, even if you don't want your child to fight, I think it's great for them to step foot into a boxing gym, step foot into a boxing ring and even just start doing just like little focus mitts, things like that. The child's confidence would increase substantially. Them understanding and knowing what it is to be determined and work hard toward a goal even if that goal is, okay, yesterday I jump rope two rounds, today I'm gonna jump rope three. 
little things like that carry on over time and that goes into the classroom, them going, you know, growing up and being, uh, going to the working class, into their careers and stuff like that. That's something you never forget. How to dig deep and, you know, put it out there physically, or even mentally, depending where you're at. The great thing about boxing is, you know, for these kids, all they need is a bag. Some of them don't have tra trainers, some of them do. They have local gyms. It's all affordable. Um, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Uh, if you, if you want to get out there and, um, you know, start participating, these guys will all welcome you. And it's, it's very affordable. Some of these coaches don't even charge their kids. They just want to give them an, an avenue to do something positive with their life. There's a lot of these boxers, they come from, from the west side of San Antonio. It's an opportunity for them to get out of their house, get into something good, stay out of trouble, and just uh, stay committed to something, which then will lead to them actually being pro boxers. And if they don't become pro boxers, then they actually seek out opportunities and they get really good camaraderie, they get really good assets that will help them in life, what, whatever they choose for. One thing you'll see, uh, we have Bam Rodriguez fighting this week. A lot of people within the city saw him not only grew up, trained along with him, sparred him. Um, whether they're both tiny and then they grew up and going to different weight classes, but Bam kept going, Mario Barrios kept going, stuff like that. It just, it's, it's huge to say, hey, I saw him do that. I was there, I took part of that. And for the person to see that, and maybe even like the local fighters, I always tell us the, the younger kids like, Say hello to everybody, greet everyone, because you might be the next Bam, you might be the next Mario, or even better, I you know, like tell the guys, be the next Javi Fernandez, be the next David Cardenas. That way, they have a path to follow, but they know that they're creating their own at the same time. I do it for my family, you know, to, uh, they motivate me, you know, to do it for them, hopefully soon, you know, once I make it, make it big, you know, just hopefully I can help them with whatever they need and maybe, you know, just my parents might, will never have to work again, hopefully. Just seeing my mom and my dad work so hard, you know, to give me whatever I need, working for my, my little sister and my little brother, you know, working for them. They do whatever they gotta do to, they do whatever they gotta do, work work hard to support me. So I just pay them, pay, trying to pay them back the best I can. So we often see and, and are told that uh, boxing, you know, in general, that it's hurting all across America. But here locally in our community, it's growing at a very fast rate, and that's a great thing to, to be a part of. Um, and, and we're just glad that we can help out any way that we can. I see so many young boxers that have so much talent, so much heart, laying everything out on the line to, to not only represent their families, but to represent our city. Uh, you see that with guys like Bam Rodriguez, uh, Mario Barrios. Those guys um, have done phenomenal to keep boxing going in our community, and they're great role models also um, for these young kids to look up to. San Antonio has always been big in boxing. Amateurs, they're, they're growing and growing. I see them. I love going, I love going to go see the amateurs. They're, it's my favorite, you know, because at that point I was there, and people were supporting me, so that's the reason I go. The, the support from fans, people, my, my team, uh, people I don't even know that just come and tell me, hey, that was a badass fight. I, I, I definitely feel it. I think there's a lot of amateurs in, in San Antonio, a lot of like, amateur fighters that, you know, there's always a lot of uh, boxing events amateur-wise. And yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully soon there's gonna be a lot more fighters coming out of San Antonio, amateur-wise, becoming pro.
What drives me to keep doing it is, you know, I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for a family that, that, I, that I made and proving the doubters and, and the haters wrong. Through the fight, I, I didn't feel, I didn't feel none, none of the punches. First round to the last round, I didn't. To me, right now, it's just another win. You know, I'm happy, uh, but um, I still got a lot, a lot to go. You know, there, there's still so much I want to do. As right now, goal is to be a world champion. So right now, this is just another win. I'm not gonna celebrate it like I, I won a world championship. Uh, I'm just racking up wins right now to, to lead to my to my treasure, to my glory. Just focus on the game plan, you know, the focus on what I gotta do in the ring, uh, what I gotta do to take the, beat the dude, you know, just, that's really it. Just training hard, you know, uh, you know, just I'm ready, just been training hard. Hopefully, you know, everything goes well with the fight. Three and no, three knockouts, uh, looking to go four and no, four knockouts. Just uh, stay watching, I want to come up. I have a lot of support in the, in the community. And in San Antonio, I have a lot of support, you know. I have people that, that have my back, you know. And that's, that's really all I could ask for, you know, people that have my back. The way I like to look at it is, is the fighting, boxing is a physical manifestation of what you have going on inside you. So that has to come from somewhere deep. You know, it's just you in that ring. So it has to come in, honestly, just deep within you. Something that you know, grit, grit, I believe grit's learned over time. You can't teach that. Um, but it's more so, if you, don't, you don't have to be from lower income. You don't have to be from lower middle class, upper, upper, uh, middle class, but it just has to be deep within you for you to want more for yourself and more from those around you as well. And you just gotta work hard. Work hard, get in with the right people, and then at that point, uh, the sky's the limit.